Hello everyone, ET Studios here, and today I'm going to be addressing quite a big issue that lots of people are having with Windows 10, and especially Skyrim. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make Skyrim, the Outer Scrolls 5, work on Windows 10. Now, about 8 out of 10 times, if you download Skyrim off Steam onto your Windows 10 device, it will not work. If you're lucky, it'll work straight away, and then you'll have a great time just playing. But in my case, it didn't work straight away, and a friend of mine also got a Windows 10 laptop and chucked it up it worked straight away. So it might be a harder issue that some Windows 10 uh, laptops have with different hardware. I do have different specs here, so it might be a harder issue with particular graphics cards and processors. But I'm going to be showing you how to fix it in my case. It worked for me. It uh, worked for a few other people I know, but it might not work all the time. So if it doesn't work for you, I'm very sorry, but this should work for everyone that uh, should work for most of the people that try it. So just follow these steps and hopefully this will work for you. So thank you for watching and this is how you do it. Okay everyone, so here we are. We are on my desktop and once you've installed Skyrim, here's the shortcut I have. Double click on it and then it comes up with a launcher, it does this, it stops working, and I just close the program. So that's what happened in my case. Now, in your case it might be a bit different, um, but in my case I had a problem when I tried to launch through Steam. So go into Steam, right click on the other source file for Skyrim, go to properties, go to local files, browse local files. And this just brings you to where all the files of the game are. Now, tr I tried double clicking on the Skyrim launcher, alright? And then I clicked play, and it came up with a thing saying the render is not available, or something like that. And that was due to the resolution of my screen, the resolution scan I was trying to start up in. So it told me to start it up in options. But as soon as you click on options, Skyrim won't just stop working. So, go to Documents, find My Games, find Skyrim, and then go to Skyrim Press. You've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Go down to where it says Size H. On yours, it might be a bit weird. It might say something that's not the one to resolution. So just go your wanted resolution. So let's say you're running at full HD, that's 1080p. Go 1080 by 1920. Height is 1080, width is 1920. Then exit and save. Let's say you're running on 720, you're going to want to change this to 720 by 1200. Alright? But in my case, Exit. In my case, I don't know if it's really like that. And then we're going to want to go back to the local files, double click on Skyrim Launcher, and click Play. Then it'll launch in your monitor's native resolution. And there we have it, everyone. Skyrim has started up. So there we have it, everyone. That is how do you get Skyrim working on Windows 10. If it does work for you, please say so in the comment section below. And if you know any other way of fixing it, any other issues, uh, please do say it in the comments so some people who um, this doesn't work for, you know, because of you. And if it doesn't work, we can just say in the comment section we'll try and help you, but 
this is the way that works for me, and if you follow the way I did it, and you have the same issue as me, it should work. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, I'm very sorry, but I just thought I might as well show you how I did it. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.